How's it going, guys? It's uh, day four? Tuesday. We're counting. Well, four and a bit. Four and a bit. Uh, we just went on a trip to the Sanoa Island. As you can tell by my uh, redness, uh, it was really sunny today. Uh, we also got to go to, it was a lagoon, to look for starfish. Couldn't find any. I don't even know what the hell I was looking for. Apparently a star and no sand. I thought I saw something, but I was wrong. Um, Carl is about as red as I am, if not redder. Um, it was an interesting trip. Uh, food wasn't that good, but for what you know, we paid for it, it can't beat it. It was barbecue chicken and fish and a couple other side dishes. It wasn't fancy schmancy, but it was good. Uh, Last night and the night before, there was a, we went to an a la carte, we went to a Mexican style a la carte. I had a beef uh, skirt steak with a sauce, I can't remember the name of it, help me out here. Right. Yeah. Oh, chim chimichurri. Chimichurri sauce. Uh, I came with uh, Spanish rice, baked potato, and a slice of eggplant that had been grilled. It was a totally delicious meal. However, I was left, I left, still hungry, but I'm a big guy. I eat a lot. Uh, Carl had a chicken stuffed burrito. Her only complaint was that mine and some of the other people that were getting their orders, it was more elegantly, fancily done, and hers just kind of looked like it was thrown on a plate. Uh, then we went over to the buffet where they had an amazing bird beef tenderloin. It was cooked to like medium rare. Awesome gravy. It was all around delicious. And the night before, we had a gala style gala style dinner. I have to say that twice. Uh, and everything that was on served at that dinner, I thought was excellent. There was a some sort of beefy, steaky, pretty much rare covered in spices served, and I thought it was extremely delicious. However, this is where my uh, vlog turns into a rant. There was people there who, I don't know if they're used to that style of eating back home, but I, I'm from Peterborough. Fanciest place we got is like a Montana's or a Boston Pizza. We don't have this elegant stuff, and for them to sit down beside us and say, there is nothing up there looking appetizing, I want to slap the taste out of their mouth. Like, how can you not say this is not appetizing? They're cooking us gourmet feasts, and they're not even from our original countries, and they're taking foods that we have normally back home and making them just as good, if not better, than what we can. And you're like, oh, it's no good enough. Grow up. You know, what are you fucking thinking? Uh, I got a shake because I swore, sorry. Uh, like, me and Carla, we probably paid about $1,000, $1,050 each to be here. And we were told not to expect fancy foods. And the reviews we read online said that the food wasn't going to be that great. But every meal we've had here since day one has been excellent. We've never yeah. gone hungry. We haven't gone hungry. I've even gone back twice. I'll probably do it tonight because I'm hungry. Well, that's it for now. That's about dinner time. Check you later.